Hello out there. Welcome to Farmhouse Fabrics. Gab and Gush. Without further delay, here we are. We, we have a wide range of um, really interesting things to talk about today. <laughs> Honestly, I looked over and saw those purples and it made me laugh like how ironic this table is. I'll, I'll have to pick it up and show you because these, these really beautiful ribbons, I don't want to lay them over the frogs because they're going to look pretty. They're going to look pretty in a minute and you'll know why we have them. <laughs> Let's get these crazy frogs off our table and then we'll move into some more spring looking stuff because this is pretty summer, uh, summer idea, I guess. Um, we have um, just gotten in some really interesting, interesting water repellent fabric. So um, Sally selected these frogs and then also um, <laughs> man, oh, the shark fabric with sharks too y'all yeah because I was thinking my the boys my grandsons they might not really want me to sew for them but they would wear a, uh, a awesome. swimsuit fabric mm -hmm. th th this feels like swimsuit would dry really fast they would wear a swimsuit out of these frogs so this is called polyurethane laminated fabric and they call it PUL, P-U-L. Mm -hmm. And it really is, I mean, I said poplin weight uh, in the newsletter, but really it's almost even lighter than that. And um, it's just a little different than your typical, like really like, like if you went and laminated something, yeah. like it doesn't have that shiny finish. Or even like your, mm -hmm. your what you think of as like raincoat fabric, yeah. like which this absolutely could be used for raincoats. That's right. And um, it just is, it's nicer than that. But I thought, I'm, I'm thinking so many time, times today, I said, or a bag, you know, like a, like the denim that we got mm -hmm. in just now. It's a little bit heavier, but it would be a great bag. Mm -hmm. This also, you oh. want to pack your stuff in to go to the beach or something like that. You right. Can... You can line a, um, a baby bag with it. Oh, yeah. Like you could have yeah. that as the lining would be awesome. Well, I think a lot of this, and we have some solid colors too, that they made, um, they, they put lining for baby bibs mm -hmm. and people that make their own uh, diapers and things like that, mm -hmm. they, they can use it for lining. Emma is in baby world because her sister has a, a brand new baby. And um, she said that she saw a round bib that had a gathered little edge on it out of out of this like laminated type fabric. And I feel like that would be, oh, that's these, these would make up beautifully in that way. But this, I definitely can see a woman or a child's raincoat yeah. out of. It's just, it's cute. This looks like waves to me. See, I see like a mermaid tail. Yeah, mermaid tail. Uh -huh. Right, right. It's but cute. It's this one's a little bit heavier than the um, than the frogs, but still not real heavy. Mm -hmm. And it's not it's not a stretch. Well, this has a little more give to it, but mm -hmm. not much. It's not really a lycra. Right. Yeah. Cool. Cute. Even inside of a makeup bag, that'd be awesome. Oh, oh yeah. Wipe it out. Good idea. So this was my other pick for the boys. For These are good trim shorts. Um, with the sharks on it. I think the sharks are kind of fun. They are cute. Yeah. Um, so we did a blind test yesterday. I need to finish my video for it. But although they're two different like beasts, like two different worlds, whereas your Sea Island cotton is the 100% cotton and it's fabulous for babies and, and all mm -hmm. your finest um, creations, this in a blind test, one for the feel. So if you've ever touched a Sea Island cotton and you know how wonderful it feels, mm -hmm. these new, um, what is that, what are they? They're polyester and, and spandex, but um, they are the softest, they are like, so like soft. slightly brushed, they feel amazing. So this is, so if you ever sew what you love for people, and then sometimes you sew what the people love, <laughs> this is a people, a people pleaser right here. Like we have a bunch of little girls in our family that like would be drawn to this. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. So here's uh, your, your fun. Here, let me go to the overhead for this one, just cause it's so cute. Let's see. Now this one is non-directional because those unicorns and are every direction. Are, yeah, in every yeah. direction. Yeah. So really cute. There are several different um, patterns that we have in this poly spandex mm -hmm. um, knit, and they all feel fabulous. We have even a woman styled um, knit fabric, and then um, like it's like a gingham with fruit on it. They're very oh, yeah, colorful they're and mm -hmm. cute. They feel they feel so good. They really do, y'all. Yeah, I mean, in, underneath and then top yeah, of the fabric, yeah. they're they're both really. And they're great. priced at a great buy. So, so a blind test with like five to six people, every single person chose this, which I thought was interesting because Sea Island cotton feels so good. Yeah, it does. It does. So 
In fact, here's a quick sew pattern that Kristen found. Yeah, a quick sew uh, 3941 that would be ideal for a child's uh, jacket and a doll jacket. So we can go to the overhead if we want yeah. to. And quick sew, quick sew. We don't carry this pattern, but um, you can find it at Joann's or online or, you know, it's just Hobby simple, Lobby probably. Simple quick little raincoat. Yeah, it's a cute little raincoat. Mm -hmm. And the doll, the doll raincoat in there too. So that was cute. Really cute. So, um, have you seen it? <laughs> have you seen Laura Hilton's dress? That's what I want to know. Um, Little Bonnie Bell on Instagram. Laura Hilton is the head designer at Peeny Patterns. And oh, that's not it. I don't think oh, I printed shoot. it. What a shame. Oh, my goodness. If you haven't seen it, you really are missing a lot because she chose this um, pink Swiss flounce voile and she created something on their new wisteria pattern. Um, it is, it's, it's really just beautiful. It's it, stunning. It Every time Laura makes something, <laughs> it's like, I never would have thought to do it that way. So the wisteria pattern, it has a square neckline, maybe with straps, a, a, a little ruffle right here you can do or not do, which she did do. But what she did on the bodice, she took the border and actually... Yeah, bring it yeah. over. That's oh, awesome. Good. She actually went across the bodice Thank with you. the scallops here. Oh, so cute. Y'all, it's so pretty. Yeah, here we go. So here's an up close where you'll see where she used... Um, where she used the the Swiss trims, which she'll, we'll show you in a second. Uh, can I flip one way or another to see more? I, I don't uh, yeah, know how to I, go through your images. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. Here we go. Look at that. So she incorporated, um, a, it's the same family. So there's an insertion that she used at the waist and then um, an edging at the hem. Let me see. Okay, here's another view of it. So, so pretty. the edging is white with... Um, flowers that have a, a pink bow and a pink flower center but the insertion that she just did I think she did it maybe from the side seam across the front let me find that that that's really adorable so you'd think that this would be like a directional insertion that you might could only use it up and down um but the way that she used it laid over I mean it, it's gorgeous at the waist here, here we are I know I love that I did I yeah that. I mean even this is is would, I would think that it would be upside down. But then when she does it, I'm like, of course you can yeah. use it that way. Because you might think that you have to go like this because the bows are here and the bouquets are this way. But she put it uh, like this. and <laughs> Like was, I want to be like, Laura Hilton's breaking all the rules, y'all. Yeah, she is. She's breaking all the rules. And was it amazing? It was yes, so pretty. it was beautiful. I it told her beautiful. I told her that she had us like in an heirloom stupor over here. Yeah, like we're yeah. getting giddy at all her... Yeah. Her new ideas, they're so pretty. So we had gotten down to not very many yards of this pink. <clears throat> and the minute we published um, her picture, of course, people wanted it. So we were so thankful that we're going to be able to get like 35 more yards. And it'll be here in a Monday, I think. Monday. So um, Laura's daughter, I believe she's either 9 or 10. And um, she looked so appropriate and beautiful in the dress. Um, mm -hmm. So the wisteria pattern is the new release from Peony Patterns. It's a PDF pattern company. And I mean, it's so fabulous for her daughter. And I think yeah. it goes up to a 14 maybe. It's, it's really pretty. It's great. Mm -hmm. There'll be a link. There'll be a link here. Emma will put one on there. And the pattern is on sale right now. Oh, their pattern's on sale right now? Good. Well, the neat thing about this fabric is that at this time we have it in the pink and in this beautiful ivory, gorgeous ivory. And then we have it in black. And so Kristen's been all over the internet getting ideas that uh, for a little girl to be able to wear black. We got dust on the on the ruffle part here. Okay, so I told Sally I think I'm just like amusing myself because it's now stuck in my head and I have to figure out a way to, to make it work. But um, it's, it's gorgeous fabric. For a woman, mm -hmm. I think you can pull mm -hmm. off anything. A dress for a special occasion, mm -hmm. a top, um, you know, short dress, long dress, a skirt even would be beautiful. But then for children sewing, I think, how can you, how, what can you incorporate with this? Because I feel like it's limited to like a, a somber occasion. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I don't know, I pulled a white dotted, or a white fabric dotted Swiss, black dot Swiss, black dotted Swiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to like go in the direction of like a black and white dress, um, 
which I think because Laura's dress might be forever ingrained in my brain. Mm -hmm. Right now I can only see like her styles made up this mm -hmm. way. <laughs> but um, definitely when you pull in the white and black aspect, I think using this becomes more appropriate for a child. Yeah. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. And um, I was uh, telling Kristen that not very many people use or make bed jackets anymore. But a bed jacket out of this fabric, this has a border on each side that's embroidered. But a bed jacket would be so beautiful because the hem is already finished. And so that could be the hem all the way around. Um, if you made a sleeve, that could be the bottom of the sleeve. It would drape, drape be beautifully. Mm -hmm. And so all you really need is a little bias neckband and, and a bow. Mm -hmm. And you'd have a, a gorgeous, it's gorgeous beautiful. bed jacket. Yep. I happen to like antique um, patterns for lingerie and nightgowns and, and bed jackets. And silk charmeuse. 90s. <laughs> not, not that I ever make them or wear them, but, but I think they're beautiful. They were so feminine, and they were mm -hmm. from the like 40s, the 20s to the 40s, mm -hmm. and I've collected a lot of them. Well, we showed you all this one here recently, yeah. but it, it happened to be something we put on our wall today. And so this is one that Sally had made. And um, we had some girls that worked here, and we pictured them in this. And, yeah. I mean, it's it's breathtaking, really. Yeah, this is silk charmeuse. And, and the old nightgowns, the vintage um, garments, they used a lot of silk charmeuse, which you can wash. You're looking at my... Oh, it's really good. I did a good rolling you whip. You sure did. <laughs> so, um, yes. This paired with one of these colors, it would really be stunning. Like even, even the ivory. The ivory. Yeah, it would be so the pretty. Ivory. Be gorgeous. Yeah, it really would. I love this detail too. The insertion yes. to tie it. That was a great so idea. This is um, a beading. A beading that's like an entredot. The whole thing is entredot. Little up and down parts are entredot, and then on both it sides. It cinches with the ribbon yeah, as you as you draw it tighter. It does. Beautiful. Some of those uh, patterns, I made one, and one of my little teeny tiny daughters-in-law put that on, but it was hard to get on even on her because it, it was made without any kind of an opening on the side seams or anything. I think, how does anybody get into mm -hmm. these? Mm -hmm. But it, it was really pretty, and it was out of that type of fabric. She always likes to talk to me about me like that. Her little teeny tiny daughter-in-law. <laughs> I'll just stand on a stool to be, <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> be anywhere close to her height. So, I'm not. Um, Children's Corner has released a new adorable skirt, and oh, yeah. they, it is called Susie. Susie's Skirt, and they have a pleated, a gathered, and a circle skirt option, um, and it is so, so cute. We it love is. the band at the top of it. Um, I don't know. It's just something you need to add to your collection because it's it's so simple. They say it can be worn all year round and really immediately I start envisioning every season because it's adorable. Right. Well, not only that, it's from um, 18 months to size 14. Which is so convenient. Yeah. But I but I love I love it because there's a, there's kind of a fitted band at, right below the from the waist down. And then you have your options. You have that the the flared one or the pleated and what's that? That one's gathered. Uh-huh. And so they're they're really sweet. It's really sweet. Yeah. yeah. So oh yeah. So Sally, um, she's like, well, what what kind of what would you throw together with this? So of course she picked a beautiful seersucker because uh, it's the time of the year, right? And look at this color, isn't that great? Hey, I like this price. Is what I like. So this is originally fifteen dollars a yard, and um, we have it on sale nine ninety eight for nine ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's it's perfectly gorgeous. It's a hundred percent cotton, mm -hmm. sixty inches wide, quarter inch I think, quarter, a quarter inch, inch uh, gingham. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it'd be so cute, like gathered to that to that yoke band, and you could even put a piece of um, white piping or something right right below mm -hmm. the yoke band. It would be darling. It'd be really I cute. think that it has a got a little elastic in the back. The front has a band. I can show you. Yeah. We'll go to the overhead. Let's Get see. Yep. So the front of the skirt that this of the yoke, it's a flat band, but the back has a little elastic that can pull it in, and and so it's so easy to fit. I can imagine people making hundreds of these skirts. I mean, I feel like you want, especially if yeah. you made it the first time, mm -hmm. you would knock it yep. out. 
and and they look so different pleated gathered or flared so and and how they're shown with just the same fabric as the band and then also as mm -hmm. the skirt but i mean i feel like you could throw together any kind of coordinates well you've got some coordinates that are cute we were we've been um we're in the leggies world around here at least where our mindsets are switching that way so we have the franny baby um this is a dress that's or a little outfit that sally's sister had made and we've re-kitted it um, this is where the coordinates come in from the for the Susie mm -hmm. skirt because we had already pulled these and they just look so cute with the Susie yeah. skirt idea too. So we have a couple different sewing kit options for the Franny baby and mm -hmm. that includes all the parts and pieces that you need to create the look um, and including thread when necessary. Um, let's see. We got a cute stripe and floral oh, thing yeah. going on. Um, here, how cute y'all as a Sarah's Sarah's skirt is what I keep wanting to say. Yeah, that was their Susie's pattern. Susie's skirt from Children's Corner. Yeah. Look at that. Just like that would be so cute. I love that. Yeah. It's really sweet. So this is the Riley Blake um, Liberty of London quilting cotton. And um, we have really loved that they've come out with this width. And um, it's it's a cheaper version of Liberty of London because it's not the 60-inch tonne lawn that we're used to. But they have those really cute designs. And their color options are really interesting because, I mean, I like to say they're a little off. Mm -hmm, like, they're, mm -hmm. they're just a different kind of color mm -hmm. family. But um, they're beautiful. Yeah, trying to find the exact match sometimes it's is, difficult. is difficult. Yeah. But this is adorable is together. So when you held up the pattern, Abby Wilkinson commented, said, look who I see. Love that blonde girl on the right. Look at here. This is Abby Wilkinson's daughter right here. She is yeah. so perfect for a pattern yeah, cover. She oh, is. my goodness yep. gracious. Yeah. Beautiful. Way to go, Abby. Yeah, that's so fun. I have really enjoyed, in fact, the, the, the skirts that um, people pre-made for the announcement of the new pattern. I think they've been adorable. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really Children's Corner. Um, they have just a fabulous line of patterns, and then they have been featuring all the little skirts that their testers have made. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're so sweet. Yeah. They have such a good sampling yeah. um, that you can go and see. They're That'll so give pretty. you a million ideas. Definitely. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's throw one more coordinate at y'all. Um, definitely in the idea of summer. This is called the Riviera Collection. So again, this is the Liberty of London. Um, what I'm finding in the quilting cottons is that they do incorporate a white background more often, mm -hmm. which in the Tana Lawns, they more stick to that kind of um, off-white. Off -white. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's hard to match it, to pair it up with a gingham. Now, the first one we showed you, it's a it little off more off-white, but mm -hmm. it still looks amazing with this gingham. Mm -hmm. This definitely has more of a white cast. So... This would be kind of fun. Yeah. I can definitely see it in the Franny Baby where this would be your top, oh, yeah. kind of swing top for Me summer. Too. Like this kind of a pattern. Yes, yes, with the little bloomers and the pink yeah. gingham. That I think would that would be, be fun. Very, very cute. Y'all, it's fun to pull out all these spring things. Um, trying to think about all so the things we have. My in the sister, newsletter. who lives in the Seattle area, made this uh, how many years ago? I saw it at the house. So I mean, like when I was least, in, like right out of high school. 20. Yeah, easily. At least yeah. 20. And so we had this really beautiful eyelet. Um, I think it was a Swiss fabric. And then she, she lined it in pink. And so that's that's how we were kind of looking at, mm -hmm. at a different color to go behind the, um, oh, yeah, the Swiss. Oh, yeah, the Swiss flounce foil. And it just gave it a sweet look. Y'all, it's the this. Tut Hill jean is what's going on here. <laughs> because look at this unfinished little bag oh, right here. There we go. 20 years this thing's been kicking around and no one threw a button on it. I wonder if we can get that pin out of there. It's probably probably um, rusted in there. in place. I'd wear it. Yeah. It's cute yeah. still. Oh my goodness, Kind of ran in the family. That's right. That's right, yeah. So going back to the black fabric, Patty Robinson said a perfect summer little black dress. And Daphne Loudermilk, she said, love black and white dresses on little girls, especially since my granddaughter is a redhead. Oh, oh I that would be pretty on a redhead. Mm -hmm. And Laura said, now I need to make a black dress. <laughs> <laughs> Please do that. Yes. That's right. That'd be That's fun. Right. Um, okay, so uh, this is like a, a here, here and there kind of thing, of this or that. Um, we have gotten in. It's an interesting notion. We'll call it a notion because... It's somewhere in the trim family. It has some stretch to it. Um, I don't know. I it just, almost looks smocked, actually. It really does. Mm -hmm. I think it's shirred, and then they mm -hmm. have this, like, kind mm -hmm. of handwork detail to it. Mm -hmm. But um, it definitely has a smocked feel to it, or look. 
Um, so here it is up close and where it's gathered, it creates this little ruffle on both sides. I think for strapping, I mean, I feel like this would be such a really yeah, cute to put it just easy, easy little strap. And it's going to have that give mm -hmm. that you need. Um, so we, we pulled out a couple different fabrics. I mean, there's one that's just an imperial um, broadcloth. So, I mean, how cheap and easy yeah. and expensive and yeah. easy would this dress be? But I don't know. It's cute. It's $1.25 a yard. Um, whole yard increment measurements um, are required. But you, you could throw something yellow together. Gingham. You know there's a new nightgown pattern by... Ashlyn. By Violet Field Threads. I think it's, is it? Yes. And so... That that could go around here and the straps, and then everything's kind of gathered to it. Mm -hmm. I think it would be easy, and it's very, very cute. It, it's an yeah. easy wear mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So this is just kind of fun. Yeah. So Sally had a genius idea, and I feel like I will let her walk you through. Um, we now carry um, pre-pleated bishops. And um, so t how did you come to this idea? Well, actually, um, Emma and I were talking because... They, uh, and you were part of that, you, they create, you created a category on our website called Create a Kit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so we have the, the Sarah, Sarah Ward made this, uh, Sarah Classic Sewing made this beautiful bishop out of, uh, embroidered, li flounce. embroidered mm -hmm. lily of the valley, Swiss flounce mm -hmm. with, with the, the angel sleeve out of the Swiss flounce. And so we've made that kit again and again and again. And, and Emma was saying, how do, how do I put all those parts and pieces in a drop-down menu? And I thought, well, why don't we create the, all the notions part as one item? And so actually this can be used... With any bishop. Yeah, with any mm -hmm. bishop that has white in it that you might want to do. So this has a white has a white bias to go around the neck and then under the armholes because it's... It's an angel sleeve, so you need to bias under the armholes. It has a two-inch piece of um, straight-of-the-grain uh, lawn for a placket in the back. It has the elastic, uh, the button, the buttonhole loop elastic. It has <clears throat> two skeins of white floss, three white mother-of-pearl buttons, and a spool of thread, and then also a package of uh, seed beads, glass seed beads. So, so it's really like the finishing touches for your bishop. That's right. It's, so really all you need is your fabric. Right. Or your flounce or something. And mm -hmm. then, then that way, this is one, one item that can, be, that can be purchased. And it's called a Bishop Notions Kit. And so we, we did it with specifically with a white one in mind. So we'll see how that yeah, goes. I, yeah. I think it's a great yeah. idea. I feel like that's so handy when you can just grab this to finish mm -hmm. your dress. That's neat. So, um, something I wanted to show y'all again because I just really love them is probably why, but, um, Cheryl Clapp created the most beautiful smocked booties for, it was classic sewing summer of 2018. I'm not sure y'all. It was one, I think it was yeah, 2000, yeah, 19, 2019. 19. So, um, I know y'all, we've, we've talked about them before and, um, they have been a popular item, but it's. It's so great for this time of year. So um, these are pre pleated This is a pre-pleated kit that we're offering, and it's all the parts and pieces that you need to create Cheryl's um, little sandals. Yeah. And um, with the magazine comes the download for the for the pattern for mm -hmm. these shoes. So they're, they're sweet. They they're are so really sweet, y'all. Yeah. Sally brought all the coordinating um, ribbons for our legacy Batiste. Because we have been crying ourselves to sleep over here because we thought we were out of this. And really, that's like a sad situation. <laughs> um, we, we purposely had this fabric made to match our lavender color number 39. 35. Color number 35. You just got to say it confidently. Yeah. <laughs> color number 35. <laughs> um, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Let's put the white on top of it. Okay. So... Then we were sad because we we thought we were completely out of the white and the lavender and um, made a big discovery. And so very, very exciting. But I, I brought out four different styles of the ribbon that we carry, and they're all number 35. This is a double-faced polyester satin ribbon, absolutely exquisite. I think it comes in seven, seven or eight different widths. This is called satin centered organdy. I'm just gonna just gonna say it straight. 
this is not ever purchased enough because this, yeah, is, this is such beautiful. a beautiful ribbon. We have so many different color options in this ribbon and um, it's just it's a great finishing touch um, for a sash. Yeah, it's great. For a, a hair bow, bow is a wonderful for a even hair a bow, bow um, like at the neck of a dress, mm -hmm. you know, on an A line or something with long tails would be beautiful. Well, because of Laura Hilton's pink dress, somebody just purchased the pink, um, the pink fabric, the insertion and the edging, and they bought our number three pink in satin centered organ. But we're not sure what they're going to make with those selections. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> yeah. copying. Right. But so she, you are very inspiring, Laura. And then this is called a jacquard ribbon. So the jacquard has a woven floral design or a woven design. This happens to be floral, has roses. It's it's really, really beautiful. And then the, the last one is our double face silk satin ribbon. And we carry that in lots of colors and lots of widths. It doesn't come in as many colors as a polyester satin and not quite as many widths, but it's it's, it's wonderful. It's always fun to compare these two because the quality, um, I mean, you immediately think that the poly satin mm -hmm. ribbon would not be as beautiful as yeah. the silk. And really in the quality from these poly satin ribbons, it's almost the same quality. Um, silk and the nature of silk has a, a more matted finish and silk is fabulous so it has a little bit more drape mm -hmm, than the poly satin mm -hmm. they're both double faced so both That's sides right. of the ribbon no matter how you tie your bow or mm -hmm. if you you can't put it on um wrong side out That's right. they're both sides are are the right side of this ribbon beautiful and all these came from the same company so when they have a number number 35 then that's going to be number 35 in all you know number one is our white number 39 is the off white Number three is a pink, um, so you can you can trust that they're going to be very close. Sometimes just because the fiber content is different or the weave is different, it's going to be a little bit different mm -hmm. shade. And of course, we have the dye lot mm -hmm. that we have to think about. Yeah. But this fabric is wonderful. It's called Legacy Batiste White and Lavender. It's wonderful. Anything that we have um, that we are calling Legacy is actually an exclusive product to Farmhouse. Um, and it is in, um, like I want to call it a higher bracket. Like mm -hmm. the quality is ex ex exclusive. It's for those of you with discriminating taste. Search Legacy <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I can see your nightgown saying that. <laughs> yeah. Her Charmeuse nightgown and her bed jacket. Yeah. Do you have discriminating yes. taste? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really beautiful. Search legacy. I like and you'll to call see. these legacy, but they're not, you know, but yeah. But that's the kind of quality. It's you'll wonderful. find our exclusive products there. Yeah. It's yeah. it's fine. So um let's see. Is there anything else? What are we talking about here? Well, we we talked about zippers last week. And so I wanted to wanted to talk about not very long, but I wanted to tell you that we have just put on um these are 25 inch invisible zippers. And the thing about zippers is you can buy them longer and make them shorter, but you can't buy them short and make them longer. And so these are only a dollar and a quarter. They're way, way less expensive. Y'all, than... these zippers for real would be five or six dollars mm -hmm. easy. And so then I wanted to show that if, if you, I mean, we, we talked about the, um, the Threads Magazine tutorial on um, installing an, an invisible zipper threads magazine has great tutorials and and I think when he uses when he installed it he didn't use a, a, an invisible zipper mm -hmm. foot but I purchased an invisible zipper foot from Bernina for my sewing machine which I haven't used yet but also we carry from um, from YKK which is a, a zipper company we carry the zipper roller foot, the invisible zipper foot that fits most sewing machines. That's what this says. And so um, we carry that. But we just put on white and ivory because you can use them, you know, they're like the most purchased styles. And we, we have had them, but we haven't had them online. So now they're on and they're only a dollar and a quarter. And honestly, you can, let's say you only need a short one. You can actually put a, a satin stitch right across here and do like a bar tack and then cut it off. So you can make your zipper shorter and then keep it from Don't unzipping. ever think you need to buy a shorter zipper if yeah. you have a longer one than you need in your stash. Yeah, because what if you're what if somebody has a short zipper for $4 and you're like, "Well, theirs is a dollar and a quarter, but it's too long." Get this like, bad boy. Get this. Mm -hmm. Cut it off. So, 
there you go. So um, I do want to show y'all because I, I have um, permission from Emma. Um, let's see. So Emma is an aunt. We might have mentioned that to you before. Um, this is, y'all, I mean, okay, you know Regina uh, Koresh. Karish, goodness, do I know her? Um, she has come the Come So With Me page, and you think she's fabulous because she gets up here and she's so nice and all that kind of stuff, but we get to experience how fabulous she is, and anybody who knows Regina knows how fabulous she is. Um, just because she's that fabulous, she has created, I mean, it makes my eyes fill up, y'all, just talking about it. Um, she has sewn a beautiful gown for um, Emma's new niece, and um, she's going to look beautiful in this for Easter. Look how sweet that it's is. So when I think of a sweet baby dress, this is every bit, every part of it is just everything I think of. Right. Flip, flip it around and show in the back, which I think is fun because the front has a yoke and it's gathered. And the back just has this neat little placket with a pleat. I mean, how easy to make that. Do you think Emma told <coughs> Regina that she had a new niece? No. Regina heard and then just mm -hmm. out of the kindness of mm -hmm. her heart sewed this up for, for Emma. Um, it has beautiful French lace around the collar and on the hem. Mm -hmm. And it's a simple dress, but it is perfect for Easter. It's perfect for a new baby. I mean, it's just all the things you want. So this is a PDF download from Miss Shea. M-I-C-H-I-E. I always said Mishy, so it's hard for me to, to say Miss Shea. But you can go to Miss Shea Patterns. I feel like I should probably pinch you Miche when you Patterns. start that word and you'll be like, Miss Shea. Yeah. <laughs> like, <Miche. laughs> anyway, you can go to, and you can find her wonderful, she has so many great baby patterns. And this, I love the back being A-line and the front a yoke. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. So yeah. sweet. So, so you can download this pattern. This is not a pattern that we carry anymore. So I'd like to say thank you, Regina. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so fun to even be next to your generosity. It's it's so beautiful. Yeah, that's that's great. That is great. Well, we oh hey, we should show that Matt will say. Do y'all know what this is? I feel like this reminds me of like it was it popular when I was little? Because, like, maybe in the Those 80s. Those Argyle sweaters? It, it, no, not Argyle. It looks like, I feel like it looks like an 80s fabric to me. Like. I don't know, but it's. Not it's that the, I feel like it's dated, yeah, but yeah. it has that, it reminds me of. The design is amazing. I think it's called Matt Lasse, I think. <coughs> and it, but it's got some weight to it. Mm -hmm. And um, you could make a cardigan out of this. It's cotton. Mm -hmm. It's all cotton. This and, would be a beautiful cardigan. Yes, it would This be. really would be yeah. so pretty. It has all these designs in here all woven in. I mean, you're in a, so corduroy, a corduroy world mm -hmm. um, for the weight of it. Yeah. I should do overhead. Oh, okay. okay. I love that. Yeah, this, so they can see the, this the is... Sometimes the color doesn't like to pick up correctly. This is actually like an off-white. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. That's a little better. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. But it has, it has this... Um, Chevron. Chevron. Mm -hmm. I hate to say Chevron because Chevron is like... Comes in and out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you don't think of that. You just think of the the so many neat designs in here. And, the, and in a way, it looks like... Why don't you call them diagonal up and downs? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better. I think we have diagonal up and downs. <laughs> but it, it makes me think of hand knit. Of something that was hand knit that has the amazing different designs details, and details. Yeah, made into yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So this is a new this is a new fabric to us. We don't have a lot, but it was it was just so too cute to pass up. It's beautiful. So, I haven't even touched it yet, but it looks like there's a bunch of different textures. Yeah, they're they're all it's all right? textured. Okay. Yeah, all these are different types of textures. This has like little star shapes and little loopy dupes and. Up and, down and up and down diagonals. Yeah. <laughs> up and down diagonals. Yeah. Up and down diagonals. Yeah. But this is a really neat fabric. Sometimes we're like, okay, what are you going to make out of that? So, anyway. I can see it. That a would cardigan be would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think a lady's cardigan, a child's, even a child's. I want like a big kind of rectangle pocket on the front. I think that would be pretty oh, yeah. with it. And maybe some big button. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That would be neat. 
All right, y'all. So we, we doing here? are offering um, weekly giveaways at Farmhouse. We've had some more people ask us how to get in, which is exciting because that means that they're seeing our post and seeing um, the giveaway. Um, this week, we we like to ask a question to get to know y'all better. And this week, what, what do we ask for them? Well, this was Emma's idea, and I loved it. And she asked, um, do you sew for yourself, or do you, who do you sew for? And um, a lot of people have, they, and they said, I, I sewed for my children, and then I sewed for grandchildren, and, and now I'm sewing for myself. But still, I think the majority of everybody does not sew for themselves. They, they rather sew for children. But um, somebody gave us a, because we ask if, if there's a PDF pattern company that you like, that you have made adult garments to share it with everybody because I think anybody's interested to know that. Mm -hmm. And so I was going to cut that one out and, and read it, but somebody did share a pattern that they liked from a PDF pattern company and I wasn't familiar with that company. So I'm going to have to look it up and we'll, well, you can go, you can read, read the, read the comments, but so thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that. And I'm thinking about photographic memories is actually what I'm thinking about, like how super random, but then how super convenient would it be to just be able to recite what you read earlier? I know. <laughs> I, I really should have, I really should have saved it when I was pulling out the, but we got lots of comments this week and, and it's always fun when that happens. And how springy is this? That's fun. Every week it's a different giveaway. Um, every week we ask you to follow our page, um, tag a friend, and then answer our question so we can get to know you all a little bit better. Yeah, it's very springy. Yeah. So, all right. You want to go for it? Go for it. Okay, here we go. You're like chest deep over there in here comments. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it one? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is Debbie Cavanus Hobbs. I sew for children. I smock. I do heirloom sewing and hand embroidery. I love to sew. I would love this giveaway. So Debbie Hobbs, this is for you. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. Um, next Friday is um, Good Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. So we might not be. We probably will not mm -hmm. be here. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we hope that y'all have a wonderful Easter holiday. We'll still be checking in with y'all and posting things on social media. Um, who knows? We might do a giveaway and draw for it before we get to Friday. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Might be fun. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have an Easter giveaway. Sometimes we come up with ideas on the spur of the moment. Like Emma and I come up with our giveaway. Kind of like. Sometimes they're doing the giveaway video and say, <laughs> and the question today is... And what is it, Emma? Yeah. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. We'll see y'all back here soon.